Yeah, yeah welcome aboard the SS Daniel Adamson. Uh, built in 1903, just across the water, at what's now Camel Lairds. Yeah. And she was built for the Shropshire Union and Canal Carrying Company. Oh, yeah. What did they do today? And she was called the Ralph Brocklebank, yeah. named after the Brocklebank Shipping Company here yeah. in, in Liverpool. And she worked the river as a traffic tug and carried passengers and livestock until about the late 1920s when she was bought by the Manchester Ship Canal Company and renamed the Daniel Adamson after the first chairman of the Manchester Ship Canal Company. And she carried on as a traffic tug assisting ships up to Manchester, the 35 miles of the canal, uh, until the early 30s when she was taken off traffic work and she had an extra deck fitted, the promenade deck, the two saloons, which you can go and have a look at later on, all in Art Deco style. And she carried all sorts of dignitaries from all over the world, <clears throat> up and down the canal. And then in the late 70s, early 80s perhaps, she was taken out of service altogether. She was too expensive to run. She wasn't making money for the canal company, so they laid her up at the boat museum in Ellesmere Port, where she was heavily vandalised and she was listening. And the canal company were going to take her across to Garston. That's all, that's all blocked off, all that Ellesmere Port Canal. Yes. No, you can get into it. No, you can, you get, can in, get in yeah, there. You can get in there now, yeah. Uh, she was going to go across to Garson to Sammy Evans' yard to be scrapped. Yeah. And an enterprising tug skipper who worked the river in those days, he, he's now a tug skipper in Milford Haven, he went to see the canal company and he said, I want to buy it. And he bought it for a pound. And they said, yeah, well, I accept your pound, but you've got two weeks to get it off our premises. <coughs> so it was towed down to Camel Lairds. The Preservation Society was formed. They got a second attempt. They got a historical lottery grant and restoration started and she was rededicated last year here where we are now. Brilliant. <clears throat> right, can you do me a favour and stand behind the wheel and just... Brilliant, that one, eh? So it's the original wheel. Yeah. Original steam engine. Yeah. For the steering. So this, what I say, equates to your power Did steering. Did you bring it in? I didn't do it because I was away. Right. I took her up all the way up to Manchester last Saturday yeah. and the other skipper brought her down on Sunday and then into, into the dock here. Usual, isn't it? Yeah, original wheel, original steam. What's the, what's the wheel made of? It'll be, it's not oak. Uh, I don't know, it's some hard wood, I'm not quite yeah, sure. It looks, it looks solid, doesn't it? Oh, it's solid, yeah. Yeah. Any idea? Well, you'll know what this is, won't you? Yeah, you can ask for the engine room. Yeah, yeah. And you don't see many of these on ships no. today. You know, this, you know what this is? Um, it's I'm not too sure. Sends a message down to the engine room to so stop, reverse or whatever. Yeah. When, when she was in service, she had a, because of a twin screw, she twin. had one on, yeah, she had one on the port side. Yeah. But that, like a lot of other things, disappeared. So I think we, we can get hold of one, but it's quite difficult to put all the chains and everything down to the engine room. But it's difficult to handle the ship. If I'm going port side too, where you are now to lean out of the window, I've got to have somebody on the telegraphs here. If I'm going starboard side too, I can lean out the wheelhouse window and I can do it all myself. Sticking hand on What's your, did you give me your name? David. David. David McNamee. Yeah. Yeah.